Alright, so I want to talk a bit about uh, rushing out games. Uh, so far, this year has genuinely been fantastic. I mean, I've talked about it in my last video about how good this year is. Uh, I recommend check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And a, a smart person would see that video and say, Huh, okay, there are all these cool games. I should play a couple of them, you know. But uh, instead of that, what I'm doing is I'm playing a lot of really bad games right now. I've been jumping into the slop because I'm planning on making a main channel video on quote-unquote bad games of 2023 and I've been slowly chipping away at it uh, so far I fully completed Redfall and right now I'm playing Forspoken which is the game you're watching in the background so uh, yeah these games aren't great but I'll dive more into it in the big video I'm planning on releasing um, what I really want to talk about the, the big game I really want to talk about is the new King Kong game I think it's called Skull Island Rise of Kong and uh, this game has genuinely just been completely stomped on it is kind of funny honestly well i say funny but honestly th there is a really sad side to it it's kind of mixed a lot of like commentary youtubers have already made like really quick videos about this and i really don't want to repeat it uh, what i really want to quickly talk about is that this game uh, skull island rise of kong has had only one year of development one single sad year. It's so obvious why this game is in such a bad, like, unacceptable stage. One year of development is basically nothing. It's goddamn pathetic. Unfortunately, like, you honestly see this quite a lot. Like, it's not the developer's fault, like, 90% of the time. Usually, the suits on the top are just stifling creativity for profit you see things like this all the time in the gaming industry or even like the animation industry passionate people that make a really cool product are just kind of being used because a few people at the top just want to make a few extra cents they don't really care about like the artistic sides of anything no it's all about the moaners and the publisher of this uh, rise of kong game is the perfect example of this game mill entertainment uh, this studio has recently been on a goddamn brawl man and I, I remember like maybe two years ago they released a game called uh, Nerf Legends. And I remember this game just being a complete other joke. It looks so bad. Like you can go to the Steam page right now and watch the trailer. It is absolutely pathetic. It is so bad. It's like a first person shooter with Nerf guns. And I think they have like this campaign and a multiplayer mode. The multiplayer mode is of course completely dead because who the hell plays this. But the price of this game is 50 bucks big ones and then they have 30 bucks worth of dlc and it's just like a bunch of skins that don't really do anything because it's a multiplayer game with literally zero people playing it look at this man well what is this a the top is 10 people how the hell are you gonna feel a, a multiplayer lobby with 10 little losers if you look at the portfolio of a uh, game meal entertainment uh, you see such games as uh, nickelodeon all-star brawl you have the dreamworks troll Re Remix Rescue, uh, you have like G.I. Joe game, Zombie Land, Double Tap, Road Trip. Uh, recently, they also had a uh, Avatar game. It's called Avatar The Last Airbender Quest for Balance. Uh, the funny thing about this is, uh, on this day I'm recording this, I actually just finished Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, Cyber really wanted me to watch that, so uh, I watched it with her and I really liked it. But this game that came out only a couple of months ago is an absolute joke. It is pathetic. Again, all of these games are just goddamn sad. Game Mill Entertainment just gets like some random studio to rush out one of these licensed games and because they just like kind of rush them out they are just horrendous they are really really bad the King Kong game is a goddamn laughing stock online there's like a part in this game where they just flash a PNG on screen and, and it's supposed to be a flashback that's how bad it is that's worse than like something like Bell and Wonderworld at least there was something there right like there is like a smidget of passion and personality but this is just nothing and i'm honestly just lost for words like genuinely usually when someone says the worst game of the year like uh, people think about uh, a triple a game that wasn't like up to standards like uh, again i played redfall redfall isn't great i fully fully completed it i think it's really really bad but compared to skull island rise of kong redfall is a masterpiece that's how big of a difference we're talking about this is bad 
this is absolutely horrendous and should be illegal. So yeah, and um, that's really all I want to talk about. Uh, this game meal entertainment uh, company or like publisher. I, I got, I'm just lost for words, man. How is how are they making profit of this? It is so goddamn confusing. Who the hell buys these games? I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think about uh, the King Kong game or game meal entertainment down below. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs>